Abdul Rahman, I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we talked about ternary operator. Basically, we talked about conditional operator and we talked about the symbols of a question mark and a full column. Basically, we discussed that ternary operator, it takes up three operands. And among those particular three operands, the first was a condition and the second two were expression uh, which were separated by full column. Today, we are going to answer a question of what are functions in C program. Basically, to take us in that particular journey, we are going to define functions, what are the types of function, and what are the syntax of a particular function. So, let's start uh, to define what are actually functions. Basically, we are saying functions are a set of instruction taking an input, which it is actually an argument for processing, and they produce an output, and that particular output is a return value. So basically, what we are saying here, uh, a function takes up actually an input. So if this is a function, takes up an input, and this particular input, it is meant for processing and get out an output. So basically, what are we saying? It is the input. An input is an argument. And that particular argument, it is processed into an output, which actually is a return value. So basically, these are set of instructions which they are taken, uh, which are taken by a, a, a function to be processed, and then they are output as a particular return value. Also, uh, functions they have got different names. They are also known as methods. They are also known as subroutines. And other books, they call them what you call procedures. So that leads us to see now what are the types of a function. Basically, functions, they are divided into two. <clears throat> We have what you call user-defined function and what we call standard library function. So the user-defined functions, basically these are customer-created They are created by a programmer to do a specific task. And uh, for example, this basically will be uh, uh, something like, uh, I want to calculate task, uh, tax in a specific country whereby the value of task or the percentage of tax, it is uh, uh, specific for that particular country. So, and then the next part of it, we are saying standard library. The standard library functions, these are predefined functions, which are found on a library within C programming. And also, uh, this uh, particular one, they are meant to do those common tasks. 
example for uh, this ones basically will be maybe the printf function will have what you call the power of function will have what you call the square root function among others so it's very important to understand uh, uh, this uh, what you call up the types of a function so basically functions are within two types the user defined and the standard uh, library function the third part of it we want to see it is the syntax the syntax of a function it is very basic we have to have a data type and then you will have to have a function name and then we'll have to have opening and, and closing brackets and then opening and closing curly bracket and inside here you're going to have the function body so basically uh, this is uh, how it is and um, basically now we want to see how can we actually demonstrate a function using up uh, C programming in our dev C++. So we are going to use one of these, the power of, which is a standard library function to see how this particular syntax can be implemented here. So basically let's uh, see how we can uh, make up an area of uh, area of a cycle of a circle so our program is about creating an area of a cycle and we know area of a cycle basically it uh, give us a pi times r square pi times r square so what do you want basically to use so let's now start we can uh, take up uh, some variables maybe double so we need what we need area we need what uh, we need pi and basically we know pi it is uh, 3.14 and what do we need also uh, we need uh, uh, r that is the radius and let's take for example radius is 2.6 so let's write up the formula so area should be equals to pi times r square but r square how do you write up r square we can use up the inbuilt function within uh, the math uh, library so here we had to add the math library here we are adding up the math library in order to access this particular uh, function so it is power of power of what so r should be power of 2 so this is the syntax it takes up two operands power of 2 so it will be pi r square it means power of 2 and then basically here we are putting up our print f and we are saying here the area of a cycle of the circle the area of the circle equals to and then we are having our format specifier for double we are saying it is our uh, long float and then 
according to the syntax we are putting up our variable called area this one now when executed should do uh, give us that particular uh, one so let's execute this particular program yes when you execute this particular program we are seeing here the area of a cycle it is actually equal to 21.2264 uh, uh, zero, zero. so basically this is how we can demonstrate a function so in our next lesson basically we are going to take up uh, one of the types that is a user defined uh, function and then proceed uh, to see what is it in, in store so thank you uh, for listening and however don't forget to subscribe in our next video